All right, what's going on guys? It's Jed back here over on some more Black Ops 6 and as you can see right here on the screen It's absolutely beautiful. I have now unlocked dark matter uh, I ended up actually unlocking it like a day or two ago at this point I just I didn't want to make a whole video about the whole thing over on the nuketown video Also speaking of that video Thank you guys so much for all the love and support and people seem to really be enjoying black ops 6 at the moment Of course, it's still very early into it people, you know find its own issues But again, this is easily one of if not the most complete call of duties we've gotten within the modern era camo uh grind in this game does work a little bit different from what we were used to so before whenever you would go over here and you would unlock it so i also i do have a ton of different weapons done here i actually only have like four or five more weapons to go and then i have every single weapon dark matter and then i can move over onto zombies and then i'll start the nebula grind the only thing i have left to do is two shotguns two of the melees and then two of the launchers very weird stuff but generally isn't too bad although the baseball bat might be kind of bad five kills without dying three times yeah this is gonna be bad you know i could make an entire video trying to unlock this but i also have this shotgun here which I, I don't even know if i've made any progress on this yet oh yeah okay i got two out of three so i only need to get one more uh bloodthirsty five kills without dying so i think with a shotgun though i feel like i should be still doing uh mosh pit more specifically only if i'm getting a uh, stakeout though if i'm not getting stakeout it might be better to do nuketown i have all these other ones dark matter and dude i love how this camo looks i like how we don't have to sit around and wait for them to make some kind of adjustment overall everyone seems happy with it and i consistently get it Warhead. I'm telling Dev Error 5820. Don't know what that is. It's been happening more and more. I actually had to turn down my overclocks on my GPU, which aren't insane overclocks or anything, and they pass all the stability tests. But after they did the update, it's been crashing very, very consistently. So I turned it down and I haven't really crashed since. But there's a combination of more dev errors and more crashes since the recent update. Warhead again. I'll back out. It knows that I don't want Warhead. It will actively give me Warhead. I promise you, this is a real thing. I tested this whole thing out before. I got it over 15 times in a row before it gave me a different map. And I also, in order to break that, I went into a different playlist. I played out a regular TDM in a different mode entirely for to not give me Warhead. See? Warhead again! There's like, what, five or six uh, face-off maps? If we're rolling a six-sided die, what are the odds that it lands on the same exact side every single time? What are the odds that it's gonna roll it now three times in a row? I genuinely, I'm baffled. It's clear, it's so blatant. So I'm not gonna play it. I'm gonna do Hardcore Nuketown instead. This camo even looks good when you have all of the graphics and everything turned down. Like Modern Warfare 2019, you guys remember the era of Modern Warfare 2019 and uh, Warzone, where people had to deep fry their games in order to even make people out in the distance. It was terrible. Visually awful. This game, I can see everything. It looks good even on the lowest settings. And by good, I mean like it doesn't look like complete clay, even though, you know, it's kind of clay. All right, shotgun. Oh yeah, hold on. I'll show you guys uh, in game. Look at this. So we got dark matter right here. Take a look at that. I don't even, what gun is this? AEK? Yeah. It looks really nice. I like it, but we need to finish the shotguns. Okay, it's not going well at all. Putting down trophies and everything. Nope, I'm leaving that shit. This is what the grind looks like, by the way. It's like lobby shopping and shit. Like, I'm not gonna sit there and face tank these lobbies anymore when it's not even gonna give me a better lobby for it. I have to straight up pay the warhead tax like three times in a row for no return at all. And I get, yo, yo, yo. Okay, I'll play it out, man. I'll play it out. Oh my fucking God. Okay, I'll play it out. This is ridiculous. I cannot wait to be done with multiplayer, man. I cannot wait for zombies who have no idea. The, the way that how blatant this system is, it fucking, it makes me so sick. I get so angry knowing exactly what the system is gonna do and then it does it's so fucking annoying you guys aren't slick this system is weird as fuck you guys sit around trying to study people's psyches and shit you guys are fucking weirdos that make these systems you are weird you're weird as fuck like a normal human being does not uh make this That's one of our fourth kill no! four five. Oh, okay that should be dark matter right there it is, Dark Matter. Where are you going? New shotgun now. Yeah, the Dark Matter challenges themselves, they're not really that bad. It's just annoying worrying about actually like staying alive and shit, which is why I really don't like going for nukes and shit. It stresses me out so bad and I don't find it fun. Going for clips all day gives the same kind of feeling. Every single game you're trying to outdo yourself and get something accomplished every single game. And unless you're able to achieve that, the highs are fun, but very short lived and the lows are low and they're not fun at all. It's not worth it. Okay, well we made progress on that one at least. All right, we go over here to the Marine SP. No more of this, uh, hideous dark spine sorry i have to say it. on these graphical settings you know when it's turned up not too bad this 
Oh yeah, yeah, I like this. I love that it's moving fast already. It's kind of swirly and moves. It's not just one direction. This shotgun should be even easier to get this with, but maybe, maybe not. It really depends. Give me stakeout. Give me stakeout and I can make it happen. One thing a lot of people were telling me to do in uh, zombies was to do the sniper rifles like ASAP because the sniper rifles take very, very long. He man! Yeah, that guy has never pre-fired shit in his fucking life. Oh, why didn't you pre-fire me right there? Is it because you don't have fucking recon? That's a bloodthirsty. Yep, you only are able to sit there and pre-fire that shit because you're hard carried by this fucking recon. I think I got the bloodthirsty anyway, though. Oh, another Bloodthirsty. I think I'm done. I think I got Dark Matter for this one, too. Yep, I'm done. Nice. All right, now it's uh, launcher time. So now it's no longer kills in a row. I just need to be getting kills. That's it. So... I don't know if melees count as kills with this. Fire! Dude, my teammates are surrounding me because I have Dark Matter. I'm losing my fucking mind. Hey, I had to squeeze it in there. Okay, well, hopefully I made at least one progress on there. I'm sure I've got five kills at least. I feel like I got like eight or nine. Plus the shotgun was done very, very quickly. We'll put that on there. Oh, it looks so much better. Uh, and then we'll see how much progress we made on the Sigma over here. Oh, wow. Two of three. So I got at least 10 kills in there then with this. Okay, I thought I had like nine or so, but I guess I did get 10. Only five more kills with this. And then I'll swap it over to the HE1. And then the only thing I'll have left to do at that point is the knife and the baseball bat. Here's the problem. The knife and the baseball bat are easily the scariest one. They're easily the hardest one for this particular challenge anyway. Five kills without dying is very difficult because you need to get into a lobby where you're managing to stay alive in the process of like being near enough to people. You kind of have to play sneaky to like preserve your life, but you can't really play sneaky in the game because you can't push up through a spawn without the game just telling everybody that dies where everyone is so it's very difficult double kill nice i could just fire this down there right yeah that should be five right yeah there it is dark matter okay so we got dark matter yep that popped up just making sure and then we go he1 and now we just got to get uh 15 kills i guess right i just need to hope that they aren't all uh using flak jacket and shit a lot of people really don't adjust i'd say only a few people do unless they're like you know a party and then they coordinate shit it's crazy that he somehow knew I was coming around that corner already. I'm just gonna shoot it. Hey, I'll trade. There it is, dark matter. Now, the only thing I have left at this point is to do the knife and the baseball bat. Doing it in hardcore, not really it. Uh, no way I'll be able to do that this game. I also don't feel like I'm gonna be able to do it in a reasonable amount of time. I feel like this one, these ones are gonna take a while because I have to fish for stakeout and then I also have to not die. It, this is gonna be really, really bad. I really don't wanna make attempts doing this shit on video. This shit is gonna annoy the fuck out of me. I'm doing these videos in the middle of the night towards like the tail end of like grind time because I know I'm not gonna wake up at a good time. And I know for a fact that my eyeballs cannot handle handle more annoying ass ring light. Okay, so HE1, boom. And then we go to the Sigma. We're gonna change this one over, make sure all of them got the dark matter on it. Ooh yeah, these classes are looking real good. That's a whole lot of dark matter. But now we gotta do the baseball bat. Best case scenario, we go into regular face-off mosh pit and we just, we need to find a good lobby. Uh, that might involve getting absolutely destroyed for multiple lobbies in a row until they throw us a uh, freebie or something. Stake out, okay, cool. Kill order as well. I might be able to get HVT and like survive with the plates and get a five kill streak. That's only gonna get me through likely, you know, one of those. Okay, I'm heartbroken. I'm heartbroken. Did the worst thing that you could possibly do as HVT. Go against another HVT. That's four. I need number five. Number five. FUCKING SHOTGUN! Every single time, it's always another shotgun. This shit ain't Dude, this shotgun shit is crazy! 
Oh, I'm so sick of this. Multiple four kill streaks absolutely thwarted by just the game. Oh, I'm done. I'm not, I'm not doing that shit. Uh, it's ridiculous. Of course they're using a shotgun. It can't be anything else. It never is. It's like the game slows itself down in the middle of the knife swing to give the person a chance to just blast me away. And every single time I'm using a shotgun and someone comes flying at me with a knife, there's no counter to it whatsoever. It's fucking ridiculous. I'm pissed off and burnt out on this multiplayer experience at the moment with recon and all this shit. I cannot wait for zombies. I can't wait. You'll see me in zombies very, very soon because I'm done doing this shit. I really am. I am never, ever, ever ever touching this game mode again i promise you no future weapons nothing i am never ever ever touching this game mode ever again they have an entire mastery camo system in the game to have a player experience the progress of the game it is the main progression of the game in my opinion that's why they double down and they have gone into it more and more and more every year it's one of the few things in the game that feels like it has a progression to it it's filled with a bunch of challenges that aren't serious at all but then they make a matchmaking system that is a no bullshit matchmaking system so all all the challenges are bullshit, but the system itself is anti-bullshit. And they're trying to have their cake and eat it too. And it just, it doesn't work. They're completely counterintuitive to each other, but they don't give a fuck. They're not playing through it. Yeah, I'll worry about this. Uh, not right now. I'm not doing that shit. Knifing and using the baseball bat and everything as well. All the little tips and tricks you could put out there. Hold L2 for the one-shot baseball bat thing. You really think that I'm going to be able to sit there and kill five people with the baseball bat with a cutscene for all five of them and not get shot in the process on a small map? But then if I'm not on a small map, the map is too large to have enough engagements and then I just get shot out in the... Like, oh, oh. it's so bad. I love this time of the year.